Hello, glad you can join me today. Are you ready for another story? Cats are cool and so are some grandmas. But who's cooler when it comes down to this? Bravo for Grandma! Little Tom had to stay at his grandmother's place on weekdays after school. There was a daily ritual, bath, lunch and then homework. But he did look forward to a daily routine in Grandma's place right after he finished his homework. A group of stray cats would gather at Grandma's backyard from the different corners of the housing estate as Grandma would feed them at exactly 5 in the evening every day. Grandma would make quite a big commotion as she called out to the cats by name. Blackie, Snowy, Brownie, Ginger and Grandma's favourite, Bravo. There seemed to be a kind of love-hate relationship between Bravo and Grandma. While the other cats were nice and sweet, Bravo was a little more aloof. Strangely, that seemed to make Grandma fonder of him. She would scold Bravo in a most affectionate way. Who do you think you are? Aren't you a little stuck up? Don't turn your head while I'm speaking to you. Grandma, do you think Bravo understood a word you said? Tom asked. Of course! Cats are very clever creatures with very distinct personalities, said Grandma. Why do you call him Bravo? Because if there ever was a proud cat which thinks he's brave and cool, it would be that silly boy over there, said Grandma. She looked at him and Bravo turned his face with a cool arrogance. See, he's doing it again. One day, Grandma took a big fish from the freezer and left it near the kitchen sink to thaw while she went about doing her household chores. When she got back, the fish was missing and immediately she ran to the backyard to find the culprit. Bravo was sitting just outside the fence. He was cleaning his paws in a cool and collected manner. Grandma went to the fence and confronted Bravo. Did you eat my fish? Of course, Bravo didn't say a word. Grandma asked Bravo one more time, Did you take the fish, boy? He looked calmly at her and walked away. There was a big snap and Grandma was peeved at his action. She devised a plan to teach him a lesson. While Bravo was having a little nap one day under the cool shade of the tree, Grandma saw an opportunity. She went into the house to get the loudest alarm clock she could find, the old-fashioned type that needed manual winding up. Tom was wondering what mischievous Grandma was up to. Despite her age, Grandma was really a child at heart, who loved animals but would always seize a chance to have a little fun with them. Grandma, what are you doing? asked Tom. That rascal Bravo needs to be taught a lesson, said Grandma. What are you going to do? Tom asked as he followed Grandma. Come along and see, but keep really quiet, was all Grandma said. Tom, curious and excited, followed Grandma as she tiptoed up to the sleeping Bravo. Ring! The alarm clock gave out such a loud sound that Bravo jumped up from his sleeping position. For the first time, Tom witnessed a Bravo losing his cool. His tail went erect and he ran like he was running for his life. Grandma laughed loudly and exclaimed, Bravo, Bravo, that wasn't so cool, was it? That will teach you a lesson, my little boy. It was such a comical sight to see Bravo scared out of his wits and running away. But even more comical was the sight of an old lady acting like a mischievous child. Little did Grandma know that the tables could one day turn on her. Tom was a little weak in his Chinese and Grandma insisted that he read Chinese every alternate day while she sat beside him, explaining the words and telling him how they should be pronounced. She then made him write the words out properly in his workbook. Tom didn't like his Chinese lessons as it meant that he couldn't watch his favourite cartoon show. Now, Grandma did get a little sleepy, especially when she had to watch Tom write Chinese. 
and would take the opportunity to grab a little nap by resting her head on the table. This happened all the time, and Tom would even take the opportunity to turn on the TV to watch the cartoon at a low volume. Grandma would sleep for at least half an hour each time, and Tom could even finish the cartoon and run back to the table to continue his writing without her realising it. After watching how Grandma had fun with Little Bravo, he decided one day to have his little fun too with Grandma. She was nodding off as usual and resting her head on the table. Soon a little snoring could be heard. This was as good a time as any time and Tom came back with the same loud alarm clock. He wound it up and activated the loud alarm to wake an unsuspecting Grandma. Ring! Grandma jumped and in a total daze exclaimed, Where am I? What's happening? She saw Tom seated by her side, writing his Chinese words very diligently. After setting off the alarm, Tom grabbed the clock and placed it between the folds of a tick towel to muffle its tick-tock sounds. Grandma, were you dreaming? Tom asked. I heard a loud alarm. Did you hear it? said Grandma. No. What alarm, Grandma? Tom said, trying to control his laughter. But he wasn't very good at it and soon gave himself away. Grandma knew he had played a prank, but she didn't scold him as she normally did in other naughty situations. She knew he was doing what monkey see, monkey do, and Tom was just following a bigger monkey, Grandma herself. It must be quite a sight to see an old lady give such a fright to a cat as cool as can be. Watch Bravo as he flees, running away like he's catching a flight.